Welcome to Crazy Jones, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dine. I'm IT Explosive One, and we are going to start the timer. Yep, let's do it. All right, Jonas, I got a question that's going to open up into us something else um, okay. by the time we're done here. All but of a sudden, it's a unicorn. <laughs> I want to start off with, would you rather lose your sense of sight or your sense of touch? Oh, touch. Hmm. Well, the first thing I think of yeah. it, is if I lose my sense of touch, then I can no longer enjoy sex. Wow, you are such a man. <laughs> Like, men will literally be like, I can't lose my sense of touch because I can't feel my penis. Now, here's the thing. Here, now, I guess here's the, the caveat of that. Like, if, if I lose my sense of touch, can yeah. I still feel myself get off? No. Like, I mean, like, can you feel the ejaculate? Yeah, yeah the, actual, like, the actual point of climax. I mean, be yeah. Because if I could see all the stuff, if everything was the same, but I just, like... Had sex and all of a sudden I was just like, oh, I, I, I've orgasmed I and, said, and the when, orgasm still felt great. When I said this would open up into something else, this is not exactly <laughs> what I had in mind. <laughs> well, yeah. just putting that this out there. This is how weird my brain is, is. Like, if I, mean, I could still feel the, the, the peak of the mountain and I could see everything, yeah, awesome. Yeah, because I guess that's all internal, huh? Yeah, it, like, all of that's internal. The, yeah, because you're not the sens like you wouldn't feel the sensations leading up to it, but you would feel like the end game. But if you could, but if I couldn't see all the stuff I was seeing, and look, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna be dulled because the the physical pleasure part of it is definitely it's a part of it. Like the build up, it would be surprised. You would just be like, you right, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, it'd, be, it'd be over. I'd feel bad for if you were getting fellatio because you couldn't warn them that it was about to happen. Oh my god! Are you would you, you? I don't know if it could happen. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna get to that point without like feeling yeah. it. Yeah, like, I don't know, dude. It's, it's like, can you look at a picture of of an undressed young lady and just achieve? And just <laughs> like, oh my god! You're just like, oh, those are pretty. That's a pretty body. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, we'll throw the sex thing out, out of the thing. Okay, you, um, can't, you can't hug your dog, dude. Okay, I'm gonna be real, man. Where I feel I? like, I feel like ble <clears throat> being blind yes. is one of the hardest things. It is up there. to deal with. It's up there, my man. Like it's up because there. because I always heard the thing: Would you rather be deaf or blind? And I would I would always think I'd rather be deaf because oh navigating God. the world blind is very hard. Dude, I wish I was deaf. It, it, right. <laughs> at least, but at least if you if you still have your sight, you can still. Navigate. When you lose your sight, you almost become dependent on other people. You can be <laughs> deaf. You can not have a feeling of touch, and you still can be independent. It definitely, yeah, it definitely puts you at risk when you're when you're blind. I'll give yeah, you like I feel like losing your sight would be one of the worst things. So, to lose. A sight, sight or touch, man? Probably, probably sight. I'm I, I probably would. I mean, lose my touch over sight. Keep my sight. Really? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so one of the arguments I heard is that if you lose your sense of touch, like you could just become a UFC fighter. Yeah. <laughs> this well, that's what it. I mean. I would lose my touch because I would keep my sight. Oh, you would keep. Yeah, your... I would keep my sight. Okay, so what would you would? I don't know if I could lose touch because you could easily injure yourself. You don't feel right. You burn yourself. You wouldn't know you're burning yourself. Like Ooh. you could like like our water in the sink is super hot. Like it'll burn your hand. Exactly. If you're, so if you're just like washing dishes, all of a sudden your hand starts melting. Yeah, like you you cut yourself. You don't realize it's cut. It gets infected. You don't realize it's infected. You're you need to get amputated. That's true. Yeah, like being being blind. Yeah, you do become a lot more dependent. You can't maneuver as much. But Stevie Wonder had kids. You know? Oh yeah, I mean, I I met uh, when I was married. Me and Max' wife met a blind dude at the bar. He he just came out to the bar. He was chilling at the bar. He was drinking. He All like right? he got there about. He took the bus down there, and like I was like, okay, like facts. And when you're blind, it, you know you you open up the dating pool. As far as I'm concerned, because you only yeah, because like you have to go on who they are as a person only. Like you, it doesn't matter what they look like, really, because it, you can't. They could be yeah. I mean, the only thing you could really judge when you're blind is is if like you don't like larger body types and you prefer someone who's thin. You can only really judge thin and thick. That's yeah. it. Because, or you know, smell. I guess. I guess smell. Yeah, but like it's you know, but like whether they're pretty, what color hair they have, what their hairstyle looks like, none of that stuff matters. And as much <laughs> as everyone likes to say that stuff doesn't matter, you have to be a little bit attracted to the person to to start 
trying to see them. A, a little bit, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> a little bit. What would you do? What would you lose? I would definitely lose sight over touch. I need to be able to feel. Um, okay. I, like I said, I just feel like blindness puts you in danger because you have to maneuver. But there's plenty of blind people who are getting around just fine. But doesn't losing your sight automatically put you in less situations where your touch doesn't matter? Because you're not out here cutting carrots if you're blind. You're, you're not, not out here not cooking dr- on the stove if you're blind. Definitely not driving. You're not driving anywhere. You're not like... Like you're not starting campfires, you're not get, potentially getting burned. You're, not, I mean, like all those situations kind of become. How do you know if you're sick? How do you know? How do you know if you if? You, I guess when I'm thinking touch, it's not like all your senses of feeling, huh? No, it's yeah, really, it's just touch. Like you can't like it's like knowing you, touch. Yeah, like could you imagine like touching your own arm and not being able to feel it, or having somebody touch you? You want to feel the pressure. Like that would be weird. I, yeah, like you no, you lose all of your. You would ju- the you, nerves are dead. I guess the only thing you would know is that you're trying to move your hand and, and you're not able to move it anymore because it's hitting something. That's the only yeah. way you wouldn't know that it's touching, but you wouldn't be like if I threw my arm forward, I would know that I can't push any farther, but I wouldn't feel any feeling. Anymore. Yeah, that I'm would be the only way you know. I'm wondering, like typing on a keyboard, like pressing on your phone like how are you going to be able to navigate if like it just it would just feel like numbness like you'd be able to see it so I mean, at least yeah. you would know it worked yeah. but i feel like you'd be oh. on the keyboard like da, 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 like smashing the oh, keys oh man you just brought up a good point man it's like if you're blind you can't watch anything right exactly you can't oh. you can't text you can't you would only be able to talk on the phone to people and talk to them in person that's it so both of these are life changing right now. Both of these are life changing. Yeah. If you had to pick one of the five senses to use or to lose, which one are you going to get rid of? <sighs> easiest question in the world, I know, but we're, we're I know we're running a little shorter on time. Uh, let's see. This is so, the easiest one in the world. Easiest one in the world. Is it why? Smell. Smell. Get rid of smell. Hundred percent. We're talking sight, taste. Yeah. Touch. Yeah. Hearing, but if you lose smell, you lose taste. I mean, it diminishes it. It diminishes it, but no, it's not it, going. It almost makes it go away. Why are they separate then? Why are they separate? I don't need to taste something. Have you ever put a freaking breeze right strip in your mouth? What? Well, not breeze right strip. One of those. <laughs> one of those Listerine uh, flavor pit strips. Yeah. Remember those things that came like yeah. you used to put them on your tongue. You just put that on your tongue, and you, of course it goes through your factories, but you taste it. Yeah, but like taste and touch, but taste when and you smell are different. Up nose, things. nothing tastes like anything. Yeah, like I said, it would diminish it. Yeah, but I mean, it's not going to totally kill it, though. Man, you That's... wouldn't have to worry about if your partner stunk. <laughs> Is that a problem for you? <laughs> I mean, if, you if run got, into some stinky smelly, bitches smelly, out here, smelly pits, dude. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, you wouldn't be able to smell yourself. Yeah. I, well, look, honestly, which, I'm not losing sight. I'm definitely not losing touch. I'm definitely not losing hearing, even though the so, hearing's yeah, probably second or, on the list. Smell. But you know what? You know what I thought of, though, for a minute? If, if you couldn't taste food, right, then you would literally just eat for nourishment. And then you no, would you'd you'd be super get, fit. You still get hungry. Yeah, but you'd, you'd still be hungry, but like it wouldn't matter to you what you ate. So why not eat? exactly what you need to be as fit as possible that's, that's actually fair you would have no um no like dopamine hit from eating like a cheeseburger oh. or a pizza or whatever you know so it's like why do you why are you even eating chips they have no flavor so it's like you would just eat vegetables and stuff but like that that sounds awful oh yeah <laughs> that like, sounds when awful. people said they lost taste due to covid i was just like dude that sucks that like, sounds awful because it was like i just know like if I, you know, like sometimes if you use like mouthwash, brush your teeth and you try to eat something, it just makes everything taste like ass. Like nothing tastes good. Like the flavor is all jacked up. Yeah. Like what if that was your whole life? Like everything just tasted like crap. Yeah. Or had no taste at all. Yeah. You'd be like, what's, then why am I going to eat wings with hot sauce if I can't taste it? I might as well just be eating a salad. A, a salad, right. Just vegetables <laughs> all the time. Like, and it, see, and while that, that sounds like, oh, that sounds like a great weight loss plan. To me, that sounds like hell. Because tasting food is a part of 
Yeah. It's one it's one of the biggest parts of human existence. It is, yeah. Use, I mean, it's also it's almost too much because people that's why people it, are so fat. It is and th- and that's why it's be, that the fact that it's gotten to the point where it's almost too much especially in American culture is because food is so good and it's so ingrained as a part of every culture's just like a uh, style of communing communing with each other. Right. Every yeah. culture has their own dishes that they have in their own holidays where yeah. t- we get together and get food. We have potlucks at work. Like, oh, yeah. I, I, mean, I don't know if I can barbecues want, with your friend, anything. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I want to lose my, my relationship with food as tainted as, as it may be at times. Yeah. I, I mean, I agree. I agree. I mean, if they were like, cause if I, but I knew if I, if I lost my sense of taste, I would, it, within a couple of years, I'd be super fit. <laughs> and I'd be fit the rest of my life because I wouldn't matter anymore. Whereas in sense of smell, ninety percent, ninety five percent, I use my sense of smell. I'm like, what the hell stinks? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's probably the easiest one to lose. I think would be, and it would also, it would also bad. lessen the taste. So you'd get you get both effects. Yeah, but sure. you'd still be able to taste some food. Yes. So yeah, I don't know. I agree. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe uh, for Jonas. DNT. Uh, we out. <laughs>